Okay, boys and girls, what we're going to be making now is a beef and cabbage stir fry. Uh, for this, I have about, this is a half of a large cabbage sliced. We have half of a green pepper. We have three celery stalks sliced pretty thin. Um, same as a large, well, I'd say this is more of an, a medium onion sliced. I have about a pound of beef also sliced. Now, we're going to be using soy sauce and rice vinegar. And this is four cloves of garlic minced. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take about, well, I'd say about a tablespoon of soy sauce and about a tablespoon of rice vinegar. Okay, we'll just give that a little mix. Now, what this is, is the acids in the vinegar are actually going to help uh, with the beef. We'll just throw that over there. Now if you like ginger, you can put a little ginger in there. Or if you like, uh, well anything really. Any sort of flavoring, that's the time you throw it in. Okay, now we're just going to make sure that everything got a little bit out of there. Before we begin, though, we're going to have to leave this beef sit for a little bit. Uh, probably about mm, five minutes or so. Five, ten minutes. Okay, now, oh, also you're going to need a bit of oil for your wok or frying pan. <laughs> Ooh, very fragrant. Okay, we're going to meet back at the wok. I'll see you then. Okay, here we are at the wok, which is... Scalding hot. Okay, so I'm gonna try to put the beef in. Oops. Oops. But you gotta be careful. Okay, now you wanna make sure to put that up the sides and stuff because you do not want the beef to steam or to boil. You want it to be cooked in the oil. Okay. So you gotta separate everything nicely like that. Hmm. Heat is mostly cooked at this point. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. You don't actually want to cook the beef all the way. You want to leave a little bit raw in the middle. And now we're going to add our garlic. Okay, this is the fourth half garlic. Wanna wait till the garlic starts giving off some of that really good smell. Mm. But we don't want to go too long because garlic does burn really quickly. Just keep the garlic pieces off the bottom like this. Okay, good. Now we add the onions, the celery, and the green pepper. I'm going to be careful not to splash it with the oil, so it's good. We're just going to give this a quick toss until we get to the point where the uh, onions start to get translucent. Mm. 
We're going to actually, uh, that takes a few minutes, so we're going to fast forward to that part. Okay, now we got the vegetables translucent. We got the green pepper soft, and the onions are just getting some nice color. So we're going to put the beef back in. And the last little bit of the fluid. Remember, you always have your oven mitt ready because the pan gets super, super hot. Okay, now we got everything mixed in. You can add a sprinkle of pepper. Pepper, and we're going to add the cabbage. Now, the excess fluid to be added is actually going to help to steam the cabbage. Which will wilt down considerably. Find things are getting a little too dry, or if the cabbage starts to stick, don't be shy about adding just a pinch of water, maybe a tablespoon or two. Okay, and just keep moving this around so that the cabbage doesn't. You just keep doing this until everything reaches the consistency that you like. Uh, it should wilt down quite a bit, and the cabbage should lose a lot, lose a lot of its crunch. But that's only going to happen when it's uh, pretty wilted. I'm going to fast forward to that part, because you don't want to watch me spinning a pot for five minutes. <laughs> Bear back. Okay, and here we have the finished product. It is reduced quite a bit. The cabbage has wilted down and it's actually gained a little flavor. I added about another tablespoon of soy sauce. Uh, and it's delicious. It, the cabbage picks up the nice flavors and the pepper and you can salt and pepper it to your taste at this point. Um, I think that's about it. And yes, I know the plate and the chopsticks are Japanese, not Chinese, but we uh, use what we can. Okay, as usual, I hope you enjoyed the recipe and bon appetit.